So hello and welcome back to the video series of FEA. I'm Bhavik Soneji and today I'm going to talk about weighted residual method. So let's get started. In the previous video series, we have defined what is FEA and we have seen various fundamentals of FEA. So let's understand what is weighted residue method in detail. So as you are aware about the, this basic procedure, for understanding what is weighted residual method, first we need to revise uh, some of the basic fundamentals first, uh, which is what is FEA procedure and it is divided into three, three phases, pre-processing phase, solution phase and post-processing phase. In pre-processing phase, as you are aware that uh, we convert any engineering problem or FEA problem into first mathematical model and we divide whole problem or whole system into small finite elements. So that procedure is known as discretization. After that, uh, we apply uh, various conditions like uh, applying property of uh, physical phenomena like uh, we assume the shape function to represent the behavior of the element and then we define the relation between the physical phenomena also you can say it is defining the stress strain relation in the solid mechanics problem after that we derive a stiffness matrix and for deriving the stiffness matrix exit solution cannot be found at the entire domain so we assume that it is having some exit solution at some point and that method is known as approximate method so that approximate method have different approaches like weighted residual approach variational method or variational approach and energy approach after that we apply the boundary condition which are the known values over some domain and uh, by applying those boundary condition we can find out the unknowns like uh, primary variable and then it comes under the solution phase after that we can find out the derived variable or secondary variable from the primary variable that uh, uh, step comes under the post processing phase and after that we can interpret the results or we can show the results by uh, post processing as shown in figure so this is the flow of the basic procedure fea procedure and by applying these steps we can find the solution of fea so in the first pre processing phase we are utilizing the weighted residue method so let's understand what is weighted residue method first so as you can see weighted residue method has three different approaches galakin approach a collocation approach or method or least square method so first uh, let's understand what is weighted residue method so most of the problem uh, most of the structural problems are end ended up with the differential equations and uh, for most of the differential equation we do not have any exact solution so we apply approximate method to have approximate solution so to get the approximate solution we have different approaches like this so what we do we convert the a whole problem into function like this which is the function of i1 to n 
where n is the independent uh, function of independent variable and c is the unknown constant or unknown coefficient or it is also known as weight so here ni is the function of independent variable and ci is the coefficient unknown coefficient or we can say weight here uh, the domain is from i equal to 1 to n to n points so this n number depends on the problem type or from how much how many elements we are taking into the consideration So now here you can see there are two different sides of equation and the difference between these two sides is known as error or residue. So it is denoted by r is nothing but y minus the whole function. So this r may be equal to 0 or may not be equal to 0. So if r is 0 then the solution is said to be exit solution and if r is not equal to 0 then it is known as approximate solution. So at the sum of the point of region, we can get this value of r. On the other points, we will not get uh, the exit uh, zero, which is non-zero. So this is basically the weighted residue method. And in that, we have three different approaches, Kellerkin approach, collocation approach or collocation method or least square method so let's understand those three in detail so first is galerkin method so in this method uh, <clears throat> the solution obtained uh, by equating the integral of the product of function and and residue r over the entire component equal to zero like this we are integrating this i which is starting from 1 to n and i into r into equal to zero so by applying this condition we can find this solution and this resulting solution may match with the exact solution at some of the points of the component and it is on the other points it will not be the exact solution so let's look at the second approach which is collocation approach or collocation method so in this method uh, it is also known as point collocation method because in this method the residue is equated to zero at the n select points so there are some predefined points at which the function is zero and n number of unknown coefficient is assumed for the displacement field so uh, let's see how it is done so we are taking the integral of r and the function is ci and 
function of x d s i equal to zero, where i is equal to one to n. So here the n number of unknown coefficient we can assume for the displacement field. Now this method uh, can be uh, used for some surfaces as well as volumes. In that case, we have to call it subdomain collocation method. So that uh, uh, that will result in different n algebraic uh, simultaneous equations. So here, here it is for plane. point this i have talked about point we can get for plane or surface or we can get it for volume so in plane might be there are two different equations like this and for volume we are having multiple n algebraic simultaneous equation we can get and uh, those can be solved easily or that can be evaluated by finding out the unknown coefficient so the third and the last method is least square method so in this method uh, the integral of uh, residue over entire component this the differentiation with respect to c equal to 0 or i equal to 1 to n and here the i is the function of integration residue of x raised to 2 or square dx so here we are uh, uh, assuming that and we are taking the function square so that's why it is known as least square method here also we can get the results in n algebraic simultaneous equation and n unknown coefficient which can be easily evaluated so this is the least square method and uh, previous was collocation method and previous was galakin method so weighted residual method has three different approaches like this hope you find it useful and thank you for your time